start writing the functions, uh, the basically the user functions to um, to actually use these other two functions that we've um, that we've written. So we're, first things first, you know, we're gonna go and we're gonna define them in our um, h file in our header file. So those functions are going to be as follows: pin conf pin uh, pin functions. And copy and paste it. Voila! There they are. Um, GPIO. Uh, let's call it user user pin functions. So you have GPIO write, GPIO toggle, and write. The way this GPIO function is going to work is you're going to ask you're going to tell it what port it's on. You're going to tell it what pin number it is, and then you're going to give it a zero for low and a one for high, or you can actually write defines for low and high so we can just go ahead and do that if you want define low as zero and define high as one you can do that or you can actually pass it lows and highs usually for true false you know things like this I just use zeros and ones but whatever um so let me see if I have any kind of mistakes here no, okay, yeah, these two warnings can be ignored. Um, okay, so these are oh, here's so here's our function for for like I said for write. So we're gonna this will be used to to clear and and to set our our pins, and this one will just be to toggle the pin. So we just give it what what port it's on, and what pin number we're using. You know, okay. So now let's start writing these babies, or in my case start copying and pasting from my file okay uh, let's start with the GPIO write function um, here is your um, here is your uh, your actual function and I guess I'll type this one out just because it's short and sweet and I like to hear my clicking keyboard so now um, the way this is gonna work is remember how to how we what we did to set a pin which is we went to that BSRR register and if we want to set the pin high uh, we we shift a one into the pin number which is equals the same position remember that and to clear it we do the same number or the pin number plus uh, 16 that will clear our our, um, our pin so now we're gonna know now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see hey do you want to clear it or do you want to set it so if state what the hell if state is um well you don't even have to say equal to one because if checks for truth right so if if checks for truth then that means it's a one that means so you don't have to type it one so if state is true and in c language true equals one so if state equals one then uh what are we gonna do we're gonna type in a we're gonna shift one basically into that bit of the pin number and remember for ones or for for setting a pin high the pin number and the bit in the register are the same so again and I called it GPIO but I wanted to call it port for consistency remember that so you can go back if you copied it you can go back and change these to um, port because that's how we've been using it in this tutorial I did it differently but whatever um, so what we're gonna do again so we're gonna go to that port we're gonna, gonna go to the BSRR register and, and this is an atomic register we don't have to do the or equals and we're gonna shift a 1 into pin number okay straightforward uh, if it's not if they don't want to um, set the pin then we're just gonna go to again BSRR and we're gonna shift a one into um, pin num oops, pin number right plus 16 and that will clear the pin so if they put a one it's gonna go here if they put a zero or high low however you defined it 
it's gonna go here so that's uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, GPIO write function now we're gonna go to this uh, GPIO toggle function okay let me just uh, copy the little definition here and um, let me just uh, oops separate these functions just visually I can see it better um, so here's my function for toggling and um, I don't know if you um, ever know how to toggle a bit but I hope you do and it's the same thing no it's not the same thing <laughs> it's basically GPIO um, gonna go to the port and we're gonna go to um, this time we're gonna go to output data register and um, that one is where you can set the pin high or low just by the um, it's the reason we don't use it is because it's not atomic but for toggling you kind of it's easier to use this than it is to use the BSRR because it would require a bunch of if statements so um, oops to toggle is this thing which is the number six tum, 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 tum. One shifted to pin number. Voila, and that's all that toggling is. It's just that right there. So I mean, with these functions right here, you can already go ahead and run it on your microcontroller and, and toggle an LED. And I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. Oh, okay, but now I have to teach you how to how do we use these functions? How do we call them? What do we type? Um. So now here's the beauty. Ooh. <laughs> now oh no we have to write one more function I'm sorry um, and this is gonna be the function to that's gonna initialize um, basically let me see is this what this function does uh, yeah GPIO in it okay yeah uh, we're gonna write one more function it's gonna be so easy I promise you uh, we're gonna define it here and I it's called GPIO in it all this function does is you just pass it the port and it's just gonna um, initialize the clock for the port that's all it's gonna do okay um, so it's just this little function GPIO init you're gonna give it a GPIO type you're gonna give it your um, your port type that you're gonna make and um, well this is just the name of the variable okay so let's see what that looks like Here is the function. Okay. And all you're going to put in there is this. And this function is the one that's also going to call the config functions and everything. Okay. So this is what goes inside that function. First, we have an if statement. Um, because remember, this GPIO type, this is a structure that we made uh, right here. And Okay, so we're passing it a structure and it's going to that structure and it's checking this right here. It's checking port. So it's going to go, where the hell did it go? Okay, here. So it's going to go to whatever structure we pass it, right? To this structure that we're going to pass it. It's going to check the port. If it's equal to port A, then it's going to go ahead and GPIO clock enable port A, which is um, these things that we wrote right here. So it's enabling the clock depending on excuse me shit <clears throat> depending on what uh, port we we passed it so it's enabling the clock for the port once it enables that clock for the port it's gonna call the config pin function that we just wrote and the config pin speed function that we also wrote up here okie dokie so Mm, that being said this function should obviously be called absolutely last because it's expecting that your structure that you've made that it's expecting this structure to already be full of, of your settings okay so now we're gonna go and see how we use it so we can erase this or let's not erase it we can um, comment it out so that we can um, I guess have it there for, oops 
have it there for uh, for reference so now the way we're going to use this and again let me compile make sure I have no errors or error zero warnings and we're also gonna comment this out okay so now this is on this is commented out so it's not affecting our code so now let's see how we are going to um, to use this this um, this little mini driver we've made for our, our GPIO um, hold on tell okay cool so first things first you're gonna def you're gonna make um, you're gonna make your structure because this is basically where you're gonna set all your settings so this is your data type for your um, for the type def right this is the structure this is the name so you're gonna make a variable of that name so GPIO type you're gonna call it um, whatever the hell you want I'm gonna call it my GPIO okay and now that we have that structure made now we can access its elements and start setting them one by one so um, let's see what the first thing is the first thing is the port now you don't have to do it in order but I'm just gonna do it in order so let's first set the port so I wanna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blink that LED on on port T and it's on it's on port T 13 pin 13 so I'm gonna see my GPIO dot port there it is popped up equals port C okay oops and the next thing is pin pin so I know it's on pin 13 so my GPIO dot pin equals um, equals 13 and the next one was mode and mode type now my GPIO dot mode equals uh, output mode out what time am I typing output mode right there see what I mean that once you start when you have all those defines once you start typing them it they just pop up for you and um, again um, this output mode I mean it's almost irrelevant that we're typing that because we actually set the mode to output when we set the speed but the only reason I have that is for my function when we run that if statement that if it's in input mode you know what I mean so that's the only reason I have that okay um, the next thing we're gonna set is after mode <clears throat> is pull which we're not gonna have any right now because we're not using the internal pull ups to pull down so the next thing we're gonna set is the speed um, and the speed what speed options do we have and here remember these are all your options for all your settings so I've so far I've set it to um, output mode I've set it to port C uh, pin 13 which you, know, you don't really need to define for that and um, what's the next thing we're doing I forgot oh we didn't do mode type I'm an idiot <laughs> mode type my GPIO dot mode right there mode type equals now I want a general purpose output mode so remember I forgot exactly what I called it but I know I started with output and I can see it right there general purpose output that's all I want baby so voila and my GPIO dot speed equals I forgot what I called them so I just start typing output oh no I called it speed something speed there you go speed let's just set it to 50 megahertz just for kicks um what else we have mode speed alternate function nope I'm not using any alternate function so that's it so now I can call the init function which honestly I forgot what the hell it's called GPIO init <clears throat> so now I can call the GPIO init function which is right there and it takes a GPIO type which is basically this type right here GPIO type and so I'm gonna pass my GPIO to this GPIO init so it's gonna take all those settings that I set and it's going to um, you know use them and do what, what it's got to do so 
we compile this uh, no errors no errors or warnings so um, I'm not running it yet because it doesn't it's not doing anything so now <laughs> I'm gonna do the whole toggling the LED but I'm gonna copy this silly delay right this little delay function and I'm gonna call my GPIO toggle function GPIO toggle oops and it takes a port um, which is port C and what pin is going to be pin 13 that's all it takes and that's it it's going to toggle whatever state it's on it's going to do the opposite then it's going to delay then it's going to do the opposite delay and now this should all build and upload to my thing and toggle that um, that LED for a certain amount of time and um, like I said I don't have a um, a camera right now and my phone camera sucks so you have to just believe me that it's toggling and if you've typed and copied the code exactly how I have it there it should be toggling also and so basically we took our um, initialization of the port to this which doesn't really make sense you know if, if I didn't have these comments you don't know what what this is doing a one shifted 20 times what you know what uh, and then this shifted 21 times like, you don't know what the hell that's doing versus this and if you look at this this is beautiful code in my opinion I can look at it okay I have the GPIO port and I'm setting it to port C to pin 13 to output mode and this just makes beautiful sense to me and um, you know we have a little toggling function here etc so that's that. Now in the next video, we're going to implement the interrupt functions. And that one is, um, it's pretty easy also. Um, let me look at my, my header file for my interrupts. It's only uh, three functions to enable the interrupt, to configure it, and to clear the interrupt once it's been handled. And then the actual interrupt functions are, uh, there's one of them that's a little bit long but it's just copy and paste and changing one letter like we did before and that's it and I'll explain to you how the interrupts work uh, first and foremost because if you're new to 32-bit um, programming or any kind of ARM programming uh, you might not understand that so I will definitely give a, a full-length explanation of how the um, interrupts work in this microcontroller actually that will be my next video before I get into any kind of coding or functions I'm going to give a full explanation and an overview of how the interrupts work in this microcontroller and then I will then we'll proceed to actually write the, the functions and, and stuff like that to, to make them all work and um, with, with any pin so oh yeah okay no no I'll explain that in the next video I was just about to go off on interrupts but yeah alright guys